Hello everyone! Well, today we will having our new topic to discuss. Very interesting, right? But before that, let me introduce myself first. By the way, I am Ayuban Dennis B from BS Ed Math Set B. And now, to formally start our discussion, let me introduce to you our participants coming from Newport. So let's begin. To present our objectives regarding on the topics, we have Olios Cherry Ann E, BS Ed Math Set B. And now, to give her introduction concerning on the topics, we have Robio Johan T, BS Ed Math Set B. For further discussion, we have Rosales Pretimay S, BS Ed Math Set B. San Antonio Beverly A, BS Ed Math Set B. And to give their examples regarding the discussed topic, we have Aranjes Robelin B, BS Ed Math Set B. Rome Mary Joy I, BS Ed Math Set B. Aurelio Jansen M, BS Ed Math Set B. Branzuela Alanjan L, BS Ed Math Set B. Secheco Bruce J T, BS Ed Math Set B. For the questions that we need to answer, I present by Candia Catherine M, BS Ed Math Set B. Babagonio Leami P, BS Ed Math Set B. Caboylo Redelin V, BS Ed Math Set B. Berang Berang Emmanuel E, BS Ed Math Set B. Arcos Angelo T, BS Ed Math Set B. For the total summary or review, we have Robles Cherilyn T, BS Ed Math Set B. Rosal RVZ, BS Ed Math Set B. And that's all. Once again, this is Ayuban Dennis B, BS Ed Math Set B. Hi, this is Johanny Tulip Rubio, 19 years old, and I am tasked to present or introduce to you our topic which is similar sulid. We always see similar sulids around us. We might not notice them sometimes, but similar sulids are also seen in nature. Sulids with the same number of similar faces, similar place, and whose corresponding angles are equal are called similar sulids. And there are many problems in engineering and architecture involving similar sulids. Good day everyone! I am Charyan Ibisati Bullies and here I am to give you the five objectives of our topic which is similar to lead shape. First, clearly state the problem or task. Second, identify what solution we needed. Third, recognize and use a general plan to solve our task or problem. There are four identified steps to include. Understand the problem. Identify and use strategy. Examine the solution. And lastly, verify the solution. Fourth, reflect of what have you learned and what might be used in context, the process, and the accuracy of the solution. And last and most importantly, Enjoy and make a sense of self-reward while doing our task or problem. We have some additional objectives. First, understanding similar solids. Second, find and use scale factor of similar solid. Third, identifying the similar solids. Fourth, learning the corresponding ratio of area and volume. And lastly, answering some examples. Similar solids are very much like similar polygons, except they are solids and not polygons, so they are they have same shape, meaning they are both cylinders or they are both you know pentagonal prisms, or they are the same shape and all the corresponding parts and all the corresponding dimensions are proportional. 
these two cylinders are similar because they are both cylinders and because their corresponding dimensions are proportional. In other words, similar solids are those that have the same shape but not the same size, which means corresponding segments are proportional and corresponding faces are similar polygons. Lastly, the surface area and volume similar solids have a relationship related to the scale factor and two solids of the same type with equal ratios of its corresponding linear measures such as height or radii are called similar solids. Are all cubes are similar? All cubes are similar because every one of them have an equal width, length, and height. So the question is, how do you find a similar solid? So to determine if solids are similar, set up a proportion a corresponding dimension. If equal, they are similar. To find a missing measure of similar solids, set up a proportion of corresponding di dimension. When plus, multiply, and divide. What are the three differences between surface, area, and volume? To find similar solid. Good day, everyone. I am Angelo Tiarcos from BSED Math Sheet B. The surface area is two-dimensional concept with units m squared, cm squared, or mm squared, whereas volume is a three-dimensional concept with m cubed, cm cubed, or mm cubed. As unit surface area can be found for 2D figure like circle, square, rectangular, but Volume cannot be found for them. Two shapes are similar of all their corresponding angles are congruent and all their corresponding sides are proportional. Two solids are similar if they are the same type of solids are their corresponding radi, height, base, length, width, etc. I am Beverly A. San Antonio. And I am Prete May Rosales, and, and we, we were going, going to, discuss to discuss about, about similar, similar solids. solids. In this geometry lesson, you are going to learn all about similar solids. We always see similar solids around us. We might not notice them sometimes, but similar solids are also seen in nature. This picture shows the famous fields of Bohol. These hills are approximately similar to inverted cones. Do you know the K to determine the volume and surface area of similar solids? It's the scale factor. Let's find out why. We already know that the two polygons are similar if all of their corresponding angles are congruent and their side lines are proportional. But what about similar solids? So similar solids are those that have the same shape but not the same size, which means corresponding segments are proportional and corresponding faces are similar polygons. Two solids of the same type with equal ratios of corresponding linear measures such as heights or radii are called similar solids. Solids with the same number of similar faces, similarly placed, and whose corresponding angles are equal, are called similar solids. Here are some examples of similar solids. This is similar pyramids, similar cones, similar cubes, and the similar cylinders. There are many problems involving similar figures, which can be solved by using the properties of similar figures. The relationship of their corresponding parts and the relationship of the areas and volumes to corresponding parts of similar figures. So the ratios of corresponding sides of similar solids are equal. In symbols, H over H is equal to X over X is equal to y over y. So the common ratio is called the scale factor of one solid to other solid. So examples on identifying similar solids. So decide whether the two solids are similar.
So we will find the ratio of the length, width, and the height. So this is the first cube and this is the second cube. So for the length, this is the length. So 3 and 6. So it is 3 over 6. And for the width, the width of the first cube is 2 and the width of the second cube is 4. So it is 2 over 4. And for the height, the height of the first cube is 2 and the height of the second cube is 2. So it is 2 over 2. So now the length is, is, is equal to 1 half. And for the width, 2 4 is equal to 1 half. And for the height, 2 over 2 is equal to 1. So now the length and the width are similar but the heights are is different. So because the ratio of corresponding linear measures are not equal, so the solids are not similar. So this is the example number 2. 2 is equal to 1. So now the length and the width are similar but the heights are is different. So because the ratio of corresponding linear measures are not equal, so the solids are not similar. So this is the example number two. Again, this is the first cube and this is the second cube. So we will find the ratio of the length, width, and the height. So the length is three and six, so it is three over six. And for the width, the width of the first cube is 2 and the width of the second cube is 4. So it is 2 over 4. And for the heights, the, the heights of the first cube is 2 and the height of the second cube is 4. So it is 2 over 4. So the length 3 over 6 is equal to 1 half. And the width 2 over 4 is equal to 1 half. And the height 2 over 4 is equal to 1 half. And now the length, width, and the height are similar. So because the ratio of corresponding linear measures are now equal, so the, so the solids are similar. Additionally, the surface area and volumes of similar solids have a relationship related to the scale factor. The similar solids theorem tell us that if two similar solids have a scale factor, then the corresponding areas and volumes have the following ratios. So, this is the similar solids theorem. Scale factor is A to B or A over B while the ratios of areas is a squared over to B squared. The ratios of volumes, A cube over B cube. The areas or bases, lateral area or surface area of similar solids have the same ratio as the squares of any pair of corresponding sides. In symbols, Small letter A over big letter A is equals to small letter A squared over to big letter H squared where small letter A and big letter A is corresponding areas. Small letter H and big letter H is corresponding sides. In volumes, of similar solids have the same ratio as the cube of any pair of corresponding sides. In symbols, small letter V over big letter V is equals to small letter H cube over big letter H cube, where small letter V and big letter V is corresponding volumes. And small letter H and big letter H is the corresponding size. For example, cutting a pyramid. So here is the what looks like what is looks like of cutting pyramid. So consider a pyramid whose altitude is seven feet. So this is the altitude seven feet. At what distance from its vertex must it be cut 
by applying parallel to its base so that the two solids of equal volume will be formed. The type of the pyramid is not mentioned, so we can use any pyramid. So let H be the distance from the vertex to the cutting plane. So big letter B be the volume for pyramid and small letter B be the volume for the cutoff pyramid. So note that V is equals to 2V. So let's solve for the height. So the formula that we're going that we're going to use is V. So note that V is equals to two V. So let's solve for the height. So the formula that we're going that we're going to use is V small letter B over big letter B, where it equals to small letter H cube over big letter H cube. Two V is over big letter V, which now that the V is equals to to B equals to small letter H cube over the H cube where the altitude of pyramid is 7 feet. So we're going to write 7 feet here cube so, here. So, V is equals to 2V is equals to H cube. So, the cube of 7 is 343. 343. This will become the 1 over 2 plus 2 H cube. So this is, we're going to be the 1 and this is here. So here, we're going to copy this. 343. So to get the height, we're going to cross multiply it. Two, um, two H cube one times three hundred forty two. Three hundred forty. So here we go. So. 2 H cube equals 1 times 343 is equals to 340. So, we're going to divide it by both sides. 2 So, H now that we're going to write H equals to so 343 over 2 is equals to 171.5 to get the high we're going to cube root the both sides so 
h now or the height now is equals to 5.56 feet. So, so the distance from its vertex is 5.56 feet. So, the formula that we use here is the formula of the volume, which is the small letter V and the big letter V is equal to small letter H cube over the big letter H cube. So, we use this to get the distance from its vertex, which is the H. Good day everyone. My name is Jensen M. Aurelio Besed Mat 1B and I'm going to present to you the similar solids examples. There are three cylinder. Cylinder A, cylinder B, and cylinder C. Cylinder A has a height of 4 meters and its radius is 6 meters. While cylinder B has a height of 3 meters and its radius is 5 meters. Cylinder C has a height of 5 meters and a radius of 7.5 meters. Which cylinder is similar to cylinder A? Let's try cylinder A and cylinder B. Height of cylinder A is 4 meters over the height of cylinder B is equals to 3 meters. Then the radius of cylinder A is 6 meters and the radius of cylinder B is 5 meters which is not proportional. We can check if it's proportional or not. Height of A is equals to 4 over the height of B is equals to 3 equals multiply, multiply by the radius of A is equals to 6 over the radius of B is equals to 5 the sum of 4 times 5 is equals to 20 and 3 times 6 is equals to 18 which is not proportional let's try the cylinder A and cylinder C Cylinder A has a height of 4 meters over the height of cylinder C is equal to 5. And the radius of cylinder A is equal to 6 over the radius of cylinder C is equal to 7.5, which is proportional. We can check it by using cross multiplication. 4 times 7.5 is equal to 30 and 5 times 6 is equal to 30 which is proportional and that's all thank you for watching and keep safe everyone good day everyone these are the examples of similar solid first solution the triangle kung makikita nyo same sila na triangle pero hindi sila magkapareho ng sukat. Para malaman natin kung similar ba sila or hindi, kailangan natin silang i-divide. First, yung radius nila, eto yon. 8 sa babaw. Ito, 4. So, i-divide natin sila. Higing 2, pa tsaka 1. At ito naman yung height nila. 18 at saka 16. So, nag-divide tayo. 1 and 3. Pagkatapos nun, pag hindi sila same, hindi sila same, it means hindi sila mag, hindi sila similar. Ito naman tayo sa so example number 2. Kung makikita nyo, magkapareha pa rin sila ng shape, pero hindi sila magkapareho ng sukat. 
hanapin niya yung length niya. Ito yun. 16. Lagay natin yung 16 divide 12. So, yan. 4. Tapos, 3. So, ang wind niya, 8. At saka, divide 6 equals 4 divide 3. Ang weight niya, 12 divide 9 equals 4 and 3. So, nakikita nyo na same sila ng sagot. 4 divide 3. So, meaning, similar sila. Kasi magkapareha sila. So, ayun po yung examples ng similar solids. Thank you. Good day. At ngayong araw na ito, ay magpo-focus tayo sa similar solid shapes. And that would be any kind of shape. And a similar solid is exact the same shape but not the same size. At para malaman natin kung similar ba sila, ang kailangan natin ay isolve ang corresponding sides nila. Kung pareho ba silang, pareho ba sila ng ratio. Example, ang corresponding side ng shape na ito ay 4, 6, 3, 3, 4.5, 5, and 7.5. At para, ma, at para malaman natin kung same ratio ba sila, ang kailangan natin gawin ay isulat ang corresponding size sila ng ganito. 6 over 4, 4.5 over 3, 7.5 over 5. At, para, at isolve natin at divide natin ito. 6 divide 4 is equals 1.5. 4.5 divide 3 equals 1.5. 7, 7 7.5 over 5 is equals 1.5. So, 1.5 ang kinalabasan ng solvings, ng solvings natin. Kaya, yeah, similar sila. Example number 2. Ang corresponding size ng shape na ito ay 40, 12, 80, 24, 60, and 18. Ganun pala yung pa rin ang gagawin natin. Sulat natin ito. 12 over 40, 18 over 60, 24 over 80. At i-divide natin sila para makuha natin ito. 12 divide 40 equals to 1.3. 18 divide 60 equals to 1.3. 24 divide 80 equals 1.3. Kaya, similar, similar din sila. Hi, this is a, another example or a problem in similar solid. And let's start with this problem. Identify if the solids are similar and find their scale factor. The first thing that we can do in finding the or identifying the solids if they are similar is to put the ratios just like this. And remember when putting ratios we can just randomly put the measures of every solids. When putting ratio we should consider if we put the height of the other solid, we should also put the height of the other solid. And if we put the width, also the width of the other solid. And if the length, also the length of the other solid. As we can see, these ratios are not similar, but we can simplify them and Start. This one is divisible by 4. You can divide it by 4. And we can get 1, 8, 3, 10. And this one is divisible by 8. And you can divide it by 8. And we can get 
also 3 over 10. And this one is also divisible by 6. Both of them are divisible by 6 and we can divide them by 6. And we can have also 3 over 10. Now, as you can see that the ratios of these three is similar. Therefore, the two solids are similar. And also, these are the scale factor. That's all. everyone, I am Charlene Robles from BS Ed Mathematics, Set B. On the previous videos, it talks about similar solids, the definition of it, and also their examples. And what we are need to do in this video is to summarize all the topic that we have. So again, what similar solid is? Similar solid has the same number of similar fixes similarly placed and whose corresponding angles are equal. That is called similar solid. And also the ratios of corresponding sides of similar solids are equal in symbol h over h, x over x, and y over y. And let's have these key ideas in similar solids. Similar solid is solid that have the same shape and proportional corresponding dimensions. When two solids are similar, the ratio of their volume is equal to cube of the ratio of their corresponding measure. Good day everyone. I'm RB Zirosal from BS Ed Mathematics Set B. And we are about the summary of the of our topics which is similar solid. Solid geometry is the geometry of three-dimensional space that kind of space we live in. When we say three dimensions, it is called three dimensional or 3D because there are three dimensional like width, depth, and length. Properties. Solids have properties, special things about them, such as volume. Think of how much water it could hold. Surface area. Think of the area you would have to paint. How many vertices, corner points, faces, and edges they have? Surface areas of similar solids. In two dimensions, when two shapes are similar, the ratio of their areas is the, is the square of scale factor. A comparable relationship holds in the three dimensions as well. Surface area ratio. If two solids are similar with the scale factor of AB, then the surface area are in ratio of AB2. Volumes of similar solids. Just like surface area, volumes of similar solids have a relationship that, that is related to the scale factor. Volume ratio. If two solids are similar with a scale factor of AB, then the volume R ratio of AB3. Suppose you were given two similar square prism and told the scale factor of their sides, how do you think you might find the ratio of their surface areas and ratio of their volume? These were the example of similar solids. Example number one. Determine, determine the two triangular prism are similar. Match up the correspond parts. 6 over 8 is equals to 3 over 4 is equals to 12 over 16. However, 8 over 12 is equals to 2 over 3 is not equal to 34. These triangle pyramids are not similar. Example number two. Two similar triangular prisms are below. The ratio of their volume is 343 is to 125. 
Find the missing sides in the both triangles. The scale factor is equal to 7 is to 5 since that is the cube root of 343 is to 125. With a scale factor, we can now set up several proportions. Example number 3. Are the two rectangular prisms similar? How do you know? Match up corresponding heights, widths, and lengths. The congruent ratios tell us the two prisms are similar. Example number 4. Two similar cylinders are below. If the ratio of the areas is 16 is to 25, what is the height of the taller cylinders? First, we need to take the square root of the areas ratio to find the scale factor. Square root of 16 over 25 is equal to 4 over 25. Set up the proportion to find h. Example number 5. Two spheres have radii in ratio of 3 is to 4. What is the ratio of their volume? If we, if we cube 3 and 4, we will have the ratio of volumes. Here's the vocabulary of similar solids with terms and definitions. Similar solids. Two solids that are same type of solids and corresponding radii, heights, base, lengths, widths, etc. that are proportional that are proportional. Area. Area is the space within the perimeter of two dimensional figure. Volume. Volume is the amount of space inside bounds of a three-dimensional object. 